In 2018, should I study computer science at a university? It's a very filled question, and it's a question that has to be split up into two parts because there's two audiences. One side is asking, I don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know what I want to study. I'm just coming to college. Should I study computer science? The other person is asking, I'm a tech nerd, and you know, is it worth it? Should I study computer science, or should I just learn it on my own? Or should I go to a coding boot camp? So two sides. The first side, which is has no idea what they want to do, my answer to you is just figure out, are you a techie? Do you love tech? Do you love new technology? Um, are you analytical? And if that's the case, then fuck yeah. Like, at least look into it. And you can, I would highly recommend it too. Because coding is nothing but a medium, right? Um, you can code for a car company. You can code for a plane company if you like aerospace. You can code for a finance company if you like finance. So it's nothing but a medium, and if your passions change, that's okay, right? There's people who like coding just because they love the idea of coding, and that's awesome too. All the power to you guys. But if, you know, just realize that it can also just be a medium, and that's fine. So what do you learn? Well, what do you, what do you learn when you go to college? That's probably the biggest question. And I've split it into three main categories, and that's really all there is to it. One, how do you store data, right? That makes the most sense. Computer science is so centered around data, it's not even funny, that's all it is, mostly. Um, so that's the question, how do you store data, right? You probably know an array, you can store data in an array, that's just one way. There's so many ways, there's dozens of ways to store data. You can store it in a hash table, you can store it in a heap, you can store it in a stack, a queue. You probably don't know what half these words are, and that's totally fine if you don't you would learn them. So that matters, and it matters because efficiency, and it matters because data is dynamic and it's different, and not all of it should be stored the same way. The second thing you learn is how to manipulate data. So once it's stored, what are you gonna do with it, right? Um, if it's a finance company, you might run it through some function to predict you know, what the best market stock pick is. Um, if you're in AI, self-driving cars, you might use it to predict if you should make a left turn or not. Um, and you would use super old algorithms made by mathematicians decades ago, usually, sometimes new algorithms, but um, a lot of computer science is just implementing mathematical algorithms that were made so long ago before computers even were like popular. And then the third thing, and the last thing, is just breaking things down. Just breaking a computer down in general, right? I'm standing in front of a computer right now, you can probably see. Um, it's just breaking that down, how does it work, because it's really fucking complex, <laughs> and you don't want to just learn programming, you want to learn, well, how does a com computer even read? programs like why so that just breaks that down that's the third thing literally just breaking things down breaking down hardware breaking down software breaking down a hardware read software uh, just in so many different ways and it's really interesting actually sometimes and it gets really tedious but it gives you a good perspective on it but they teach principles and principles when you learn anything new there's three levels there's principles at the bottom which change never barely ever there's tactics and strategies which change every like five or ten years so if they teach you some developer tools at college, if they teach you a new language, well, what happens if you graduate and that language is no longer in use? You just wasted $25,000. The, the point is they teach you principles so that way you can be dynamic and you can adapt to changes in computer science because it's always gonna change, constantly. Um, the problem with that is yes, you do code a lot in college, but sometimes they're just a little too much in the, into the theory. I, like, I didn't really learn too much mobile development. You probably have to take electives for this, and that's fine, Like there is electives that offered but like you don't learn too much elective, you don't learn too much you know, app development, stuff like that. You just have to take electives for it, which is totally fine, but it's not their main thing. The main thing is principles so you can adapt. And that was weird at first. That's so weird, right? It, it sounds crazy. You're like, well, where's the app development? That's, that's what I want to do, right? I'm ready. Um, and that's, yeah, that's kind of what happens with college. The if else statement, the while statement, doesn't get any harder, right? The syntax of code gets no harder. What changes is the theory behind it. So that's why I like universities, because they tend to teach a lot of theory, sometimes too much, a little bit too much. Um, I'm not going to talk to boot camps too much. I think boot camps do less theory and more like learning straight things. And you can learn theory by doing work. Like, yeah, that's possible too. So yeah, I haven't been to a boot camp. I don't know too much about them. I'm not going to argue for or against them. That's a separate video for you to do. Um, my general thing is usually um, universities teach too much theory and boot camps teach too much like practical world what's happening right now in coding and technology and not enough principles. So a middle perspective would be great. I'm sure there's some that do it well. So yeah, that's my opinion on that. Should you just fuck it and do it alone? 
right? I can look up online a full syllabus and free courses to learn everything I learned in college. Should I do that? Um, probably not. <laughs> and here's why, because you're not gonna force yourself to do it, right? There's times I say that three nights in a row just to get a single line of code to work. And if you're on your own, you're not gonna do that. You're just gonna be like, fuck it. Well, you know, whatever, I'll just skip that one. It's fine, I'm sure no one gets it. You don't skip it in college, you can't, you'll fail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, it really pushes you. Second thing, college gives you support systems. It gives you probably a ton of friends, a lot of groups, um, clubs, a lot of professors, TAs, it gives all these support systems to make you feel better about what you're doing when it gets really hard. So yes, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps you in some form. No matter what you do, just be super excited because you know, there's so much opportunity ahead and it's everywhere. So just open your eyes to the opportunity, be patient, and be social. That's it. Have a wonderful day and I wish you the best of luck in whatever you guys choose to do.